Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how to work with context API with the class component. What if I say you can use the context API in a functional component as well? Yes, there is a way to use context API in a functional component using hooks. Hooks are everywhere in React application. So let's take a look at a very simple example of it. I'm going to create a new file inside this context folder right here. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it fn context.js. And let me just create here a simple functional component. So I'm going to just see here react functional component. And let me just import it inside my index file like this. Save this index file back to your functional component right here. And now let me show you how you can use context API inside a functional component. Now let's suppose you have a template with two different themes, light and dark, and you want to use both. You allow user to choose their theme. So in this example, I'm going to create a simple variable theme and create two different themes inside it, light and dark. And I'm going to just access that theme variable inside my functional component using context API hook. So at the top here, I'm going to simply first create that variable. So I'm going to say here constant themes is equal to and inside an object, I'm going to say light and inside this light theme, I'm going to specify foreground color and the background color to this theme. So I'm going to just create here a key foreground and specify hex value to it. I'm going to do the same for the background as well and specify hex value. Just out of that, I'm going to specify styling to the dark theme. So I'm going to say here dark and in this object, I'm going to put foreground and background color like this. Just out of that, just out here, I'm going to create my context. So I'm going to say here creating context API. So I'm going to say here constant theme context is equal to you can specify any name to this theme context that's upon you and just of that i'm going to call here create context method so i'm going to say here react dot create context now if you don't want to use a react then you can just simply import this method at the top right here if i say here comma and inside the curly braces if i specify create context then i can directly use this create context inside my code without this react prefix now just out of that to this create context i'm going to specify default value so here i'm going to say themes dot light so i'm going to specify this light theme as a default value to this context just out of that inside this parent component let me just add here a command parent component you might have different name to your parent component this is my parent component inside it i have different childs so let me first wrap my child components inside a provider so I can access this context value. So I'm going to get rid of this div and here I'm going to create a component called theme context dot provider and inside it I'm going to add my child component. So I'm going to say here current theme just like this. As you know, I don't have this component right now. Let me create it. So just down here, just out of this functional component. Here I'm going to create my child component, child component of this parent. So just down here, I'm going to say function and then I'm going to specify this current theme component here like this. Just out of that, as you know, you can pass value to this default context. You can pass value to the default context using value property. Let me specify here value property to this provider is equal to and in this curly braces, I'm going to say themes dot dark i'm going to change the default value of this context and change it to dark just after that inside this current theme i'm going to call my second child component so i'm going to just return here my second child let me first add here a div as a wrapper and then i'm going to call here child second now you're free to choose any name to this second child that's upon you just down here i'm going to create this second child functional component so I'm going to say here function second child like this and inside this second child here I'm going to return a simple button. So I'm going to say here button and inside it I'm going to say I am styled by theme context. Just out of that inside this function I'm going to say console.log and I'm going to print this back to my browser and reload it. Right now you can notice I have this simple button and I'm going to get here undefined. When you execute your program, you can notice you're going to get undefined in your console because this is not 
a class component this is a function of component so this is refers to nothing so instead of this i'm going to specify this function here let me save this file and you will have the result something like this you will not get any property or anything with a functional component then how you can initialize the context property let me show you how you can do it to initialize the context property we are going to use use context hook so at the top here inside this curl braces i'm going to say here use context once i import that hook i'm going to use it right here i'm going to simply say here constant theme is equal to use context and inside it i'm going to pass my theme context so as you know i have this theme context i'm going to pass that as a parameter to this use context let me just print this object first i'm going to say here console.log and i'm going to print this object save this file you can see i'm going to have access to my context value so to get the context value you need to use use context hook with the context object once you specify the context object this hook is going to return the context value to your variable and now you can use that variable in your functional component let me show you just down here i'm going to specify style property and inside this curly braces i'm going to just use this theme and specify style to this button so inside this curly braces i'm going to add another curly braces so this will just pass an object to this style property and just for that i'm going to say here background background color is going to be theme dot background as you know i'm going to use the background key of this theme object just out of that i'm going to specify here comma and specify color and i'm going to specify color theme dot foreground so this color property is going to specify color to the button and this background property is going to specify background color to this button let me save these changes and as you can see i'm going to have styling to my button now i'm going to have this styling from the context api i don't have to pass any property to the parent component to get the value from the parent i just use here use context hook to get the context value now here context is going to store this object and i'm going to access this object inside this second child component when you add create context it will create a store and store this object inside it so you can access this object values anywhere in your react application so any child of this current theme can access this value so i hope you understand how to work with context hooks in the react application next we're going to talk about how to use the consumers in the context api